話すかもしれないです。今日は2022 Tiguan と2022 Tucson。Right off the bat, I'm going to tell you these cars are so similar that this is ultimately going to come down to what styling you prefer. We are looking at the top of the line trims for both. So we have an SEL R line and a limited trim. Let's get started. We're looking at the Tiguan in platinum gray metallic. It has a base MSRP of $25,995. It has a two liter turbo engine paired with an eight speed automatic transmission. And it's important to mention that the all wheel drive comes standard on the SEL R line. So, with that, you'll get about 184 horsepower and more torque than the Tucson because of the turbo engine at 221 pound feet. And then, as far as fuel economy goes, you'll get about 21 miles to the gallon in the city and up to 28 on the freeway, of course, depending all on your driving habits. And then, if you fill it all the way up, that gives you a range of around 382 miles. And your Tiguan can tow up to 1,500 pounds. This Tucson is in Oxford white. It has a base MSRP of $25. 350. It's paired with a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated engine, and that comes paired with an 8 speed automatic transmission. You'll get 187 horsepower and 178 pound feet of torque. Now, front wheel drive is standard even on the limited trim, but all wheel drive is optional. So, those front wheel drives you'll get about 26 miles to the gallon in the city and up to 33 on the freeway. And you'll have a total range of 415 miles on a full tank. All depending on those driving habits. One great thing about the Tucson is depending on how you get it configured, and also if you get a tow package, you can tow up to 2,000 pounds. I did a detailed walk around on this Tiguan not that long ago, but I'm gonna link it up in the right hand corner up there. So if you want a full list of all of the features, you can check that out. But moving forward, the features that stand out compared to the Tucson are adaptive front lighting, an illuminated grill. On this R line, and technically it does have slightly more ground clearance at 7.6 inches. You'll also get larger 20 inch wheels and power folding mirrors on the Tiguan. I also reviewed this 2022 Tucson fully, and you can check that out by clicking the link in the upper right hand corner. So, on the Tucson, you will get a dark chrome premium finished grille, and also LED lighting comes standard across all trims of the Tucson. Now, one big standout feature compared to the Tiguan on this limited, you'll get remote park assist so you can help get. In and out of those tight bay area spaces with just your key fob. You'll get 19 inch wheels on the Tucson, and it doesn't have power folding mirrors, but they are heated. So the Tiguan, of course, comes with a hands free lift gate. And while it does technically have less room, cargo room, than the Tucson, you'll still get. 37 cubic feet of space behind the second row. And with the 40 20 40 split second row, you'll get up to 73 cubic feet of space. Now, the Tiguan also comes available as a third row on the front wheel drive models. The third row is、uh, optimal for little kids, it's a tight fit, but still a very unique feature for this class. The Tucson also comes with a hands free lift gate and more cargo space. Behind the second row, you'll get up to 41 cubic feet of space. And then with that 60 40 second row folded flat, you will get double that at 80 cubic feet of space. Moving on to the interior of these cars, starting with the Tiguan. It comes standard on all trims with heated seats and keyless entry with push to start, which is really cool. In the Tiguan, you'll also get a traditional gear shifter. And then when you move up to the R line, some standout features compared to the Tucson are leather heated and ventilated seats, and you get USB C inputs instead of USB A. You also Only get an 8 inch infotainment system. However, you'll get the upgraded digital cockpit pro, which is 10 and a quarter inches 
and you can move your navigation to view it right in your gauge cluster, which is so convenient. You also have three driver profiles. A few other differences are Fender premium sound system and you get 15 color ambient lighting and of course the wireless connectivity and wireless charging. A few things that stand out to me in the Tucson compared to the Tiguan are in the Tucson, you will have electronic gear buttons instead of the traditional shifter like in the Tiguan. You will get leather trimmed heated and ventilated seats, so they're not full real leather. However, you do get a larger 10 and a quarter inch infotainment system. I love that they kept USB-A, you have one data and one charging um, output here and you have a 64 color ambient lighting, which is more than the Tiguan. You also have a Bose premium sound system. Sitting in the second row of the Tiguan, you will get one USB-C charging port as well as a 12 volt power source. And you have slightly less leg room back here. It's currently adjusted for my driving position. I'm only 5'1", and you can get up to 38.7 inches of leg room. So it's still a lot, but let's climb inside the Tucson. In the second row of the Tucson, you'll have two standard USB charging ports. You also have more passenger volume at 108 cubic feet of space. You also have more leg room than the Tiguan. You get up to 41 inches of leg room in the second row. So while the Tiguan is gonna have more torque, you're gonna get more standard features and the this SEL R-Line has standard all-wheel drive, the Tucson is gonna have a lower starting MSRP, you're gonna get more cargo space and better fuel economy. So the decision is ultimately yours here. I wanna give a quick shout out to Capital Volkswagen and Capital Hyundai for hooking it up with both of these cars. If you have any further questions, you can drop them in the comment section below. Thanks!